everyone, it's Michelle from A Common Life, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about five things you should be doing in your homeschool. children for five years now we are in our sixth year and I have five children ages 3 to 11 so we have a you know a spread from pre-k all the way up to fifth grade and I just wanted to share with you five little tips that I have to make your homeschool something that everyone can enjoy number one read together I think that that is one of the best ways that you can kind of build a bond with your children cuddle up on the couch or in your bed or in their bedroom and just read together pick books that you enjoy to share with them and let them pick books as well that's just a really great way to bond with your children number two is something for you ask for help when you need it there are so many online forums Facebook groups local co-ops or support groups where you can find help if you need it if you are just beginning homeschool there are so many opportunities for you to meet other new parents even if it's just online because having online friendships is really helpful as well when I was first starting blogs were the thing that I read to just kind of you know get my feet wet and figure out what in the world I was gonna do when I started homeschooling so ask for help when you need it I know that there are several moms who have found a more veteran homeschooling mom and they have had that mom kind of walk them through things help them through the hard patches and so I would highly recommend that as well number three is to take breaks we uh, homeschool year-round and so it is very easy for us to kind of take breaks when we need them but even if you don't homeschool year-round it's really important to take breaks as well um, I don't necessarily try to model myself after a public or private school calendar but in those types of schools, they get breaks. They go on field trips, they, you know, they have like parent-teacher conference days, they get off for calendar holidays as well. And so do those same things for your family. And that doesn't mean that you have to just, you know, sit at home and do nothing all day. You can take those days and go out and do something fun or have a fun day at home. If you watch Homeschool on the Hill, she does fun Fridays and she recently posted a video about that. So I will go ahead and link to her channel up above. And so there are so many things that you can do to kind of just like take a little bit of a break from that formal homeschooling and it will just bring you all closer together and have a good time number four is to give yourself planning days when we used to homeschool in another state you had to do so many days per year and that actually did include planning days for the teacher and so if you're not doing that right now I encourage you to make sure that at the beginning of every year semester quarter however you plan out your school year that you go ahead and take at least one day that counts as a school day that is for planning my last piece of advice for you is just to have fun together, whether that be a fun Friday or a poetry tea time or just watching a movie together and popping some popcorn. Just take time in your day to just have fun with your kids. We like to play bingo together and we also like to play board games and card games. Um, school can be really fun. So don't forget that. Don't kind of get stuck in all of the formal homeschooling and forget how you can actually have fun. You can play math games together. We recently did a, um, a game about the state and so there's just so many different ways that you can do things together my son is in this room with me right now so if you are hearing noises in the background that is him he is having fun right now so anyway those are just a few pieces of you know my wisdom that I have gained over the past few years with homeschooling and um, I hope they helped you if they did please go ahead and click that like button and don't forget to subscribe I hope that you have a great day Peace.